Hi, Becky Spieth, direct sales specialist and the Christian direct seller. I just wanted to thank you, first off, for spending a few of your precious moments with me. I'm going to be answering some questions over the next few weeks that I've received from some of my favorite direct sellers. Some of them are inside of my Master Your Success Faster program, but then also some of them are coming from people just like you. They're coming from our Facebook pages, so feel free to visit one of those and post your question. I'll be happy to consider you for one of our upcoming videos. The Facebook pages are The Christian Direct Seller or Direct Sales Specialist. So let's get on with the question for today. This is a really good question, and this comes from Sarah Quentel Rose. She's an executive sales leader with Norwex. Okay, and this is what her question was. She's inside of the Master Your Success Faster program, and we were talking about mindset last week and about how important it is that we set boundaries and that we create a really awesome business. And it all starts right here in the mind. So her, here's her question. She said, we spoke about setting boundaries on the last call. How do you deal with team questions and conversations? Do you set certain times and ways that they can contact you and then get back to them? Do you take calls from your leaders at any time during the day? How do you handle your personal recruits? I'm really struggling with how to allot appropriate time for everyone that needs to speak with me and get the time without me working from 6 a.m. until midnight. I'd love to know how you structure team communication. Great question, Sarah. So I'm going to take them one at a time, and then I've got some other tips to share with you. So if you've ever wondered how do you handle communication, what do you do with some office hours, you're going to want to listen to this answer. Well, let's take the first question. How do you deal with team questions and conversations? Well, for me, I think it's important that we have specific times that our team can communicate with us and we are accessible to them. Absolutely. However, do they really have to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation? Probably not. That probably should be saved for your coaching time that you're having one-on-one -on -one with them. So who do we work with in those times we work with the new and we work with the strong but those are with scheduled appointments what I recommend that you do is right from the get-go as soon as you bring on a new consultant you share with them the best way to communicate with you of course it's going to first and foremost be by that very coveted time of coaching that they would have set up for you with you for the first six weeks I let them know what my office hours and that are, and then I let them know as well that they can call me at any time, but just realize that I need them to let me know the best way to communicate back with them. I have a, a, a large team and organization, and I want to give everyone the, the personal attention that they deserve. However, if I can just answer a question for you by email or response that way, let me know because that's going to allow when you do need that personal time and that conversation for me to be able to share that with you as well. You'll be surprised at how many people will stop demanding that they have your back and forth conversation, whether it's text or through uh, telephone, if you set up that system. It was a big awareness for me when I kind of got to a stalled out point when I was working with promoting leaders. And what happened is I asked them, I said, why well, you know, you guys want to promote? And they said they would never want to have the schedule that I kept. And the funny thing about it is they were my leaders. They were the ones that were promoting and that I, I just wanted to invest that extra time in them because I loved them. I loved my business. I wanted them to be successful. However, they'd call during dinner. They'd call me late at night, and I thought it was my duty or my responsibility to get back to them, and nothing could have been further from the truth. Once I set some boundaries is when they actually started to respect that a little bit more. 